Hey everyone, welcome back. So you know those annoying triangulated poles that you get on spheres? Well, let me show you how to create a sphere that is 100% quads, no poles. Okay, to do this, you need three things. A cube, my sculpt deformer, and about 10 seconds. So let's jump straight in. So I'm gonna create a cube and I'm gonna give it some subdivisions. I'm gonna use eight. As I mentioned, you need the sculpt deformer, which is under the deform menu. So you need any of the drop downs that have the deform menu under. So modeling, uh, rigging, and animation all have the deform. And then just a little bit of the way down, you see the sculpt deformer. So with the cube selected, I'm gonna open up the options. Now this isn't a tutorial on the sculpt deformer, so I'm gonna ignore all these settings and just make sure I'm using the default settings because that's all I need. And I'm just gonna hit create. And you can see already we have a sphere. Now, just to show you one thing that's going on, you wanna see it's got a sculpt input. Um, if I was to move this, you see this funkiness going on? That's because this is the sculpt deformer here and the cube is currently deforming as it moves over that. So if I just put that back to zero where it was. To get rid of that, I can do one of two things. I can control D to duplicate it. And there you go, that's now free of the sculpt deformer, whereas this one is still connected. Or I can delete the history. So edit, delete all by type, history. And now this one is also free of the sculpt deformer. So just to prove that that is in fact a sphere, I have your regular sphere on the left here. And you can see that is in fact a sphere. And just one thing to notice if I turn the wire frame off, you see these edges here that are remnants from when this used to be a cube. That's actually just a normal display thing. So if I come up to the modeling menu and mesh display, and I just soften normals, you can see it's gone. And I now have a sphere, which can obviously be smooth if I like. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Happy creating.